My name is Oyinankia Ogochi Esther. I am from Imo State, Imbise, Ayazi local government. I am here on behalf of my father, who unfortunately couldn't be here today. My testimony starts like this. So, October 2021, my father works at MPA, and in his various operations of what he does, it includes clearing containers and all of that. So, his business associate, a very good friend of his, told him that as because he, he brought his container to my dad and told him that don't worry you don't need to check it you don't need to clarify it nothing like that just sign the papers you know me you trust me and my dad is a very trusting human being and he trusted his friend because he thought he knew him and i said okay he now signed the papers unbeknownst to him that his same friend set him up with some other people they went behind his back after signing the papers to call police and efcc that there's somebody in npa that cleared illegal containers so the efcc and the police they came to check the container because of what they heard my dad was like uh, uh, no that's not true how can that be possible i've worked here for over 30 years no blemish on my record what do you mean by that they said let us check my dad said, with all confidence, oh yeah, let's go. Lo and behold, when they opened the container, the container, instead of being stacked with the goods like laptops and iPhones, it was stacked with guns and bullets. My dad was shocked. Because of this, they built my dad a total sum of 45 million naira. And they said that if he does not pay in two months, he's going to court and he will lose everything. And that was during September, and obviously he was paying school fees and all of that. So he, was, he started borrowing just to meet up with the quota. So as he was borrowing, the next year, that was 2022, they signed him off to go for a course in Abuja. And the course was nine months, which took a very big impact on his funds. So because of that, he couldn't be working. So he had no means of paying them back. Every day, people are always calling him, threatening him to pay them back their money or they will do something to him. My dad got depressed. In fact, he was having suicidal thoughts. Thank God he came back to his senses. Then, um, my, my, my mom's friend introduced her to Zion. That was during the August period, August crusade. Introduced her to Zion, saying that there is a very, there's a man of God here, Emrelis Ebuka Obi, that he will, he will talk to you, his prayer will help you and everything like that. My mom said, okay. We went for the crusade. Since then, we've been coming to Zion since August. Then the following year, that's this year, January 2023. On January 29th, M.J. Ebuka will be located my dad. You must tell your wife, sorry. Apologize to her secretly. See her baby, everything I have done, forgive me. There are something you did. Your wife have one spirit. There is a spirit following her when she was born. Anytime she cry, something fishing will be happening. Are you not aware that most of the time your wife is not happy with you? Conquering or former? Uncle, you public. Huh? I will not say anything. See, I'll be Find a place you have to forgive you. Will you? Something in me is telling me that God will restore you again. Amen. Director. Is your husband director? Eh? Yes. Director, but he's hungry now. Are you aware? Yes. A whole director that have gotten to the highest level is now hungry. Oh, when I are going to see him, the name Babara name Jehovah. I did the booster, I did the sugar, no, baby, baby, We restore you. Amen. Odogu Berowa, Dareto, Ndo Kana, Bochangi for help. Manubua, you are marking time. Somebody want to eliminate you. The person scatter your connection. 
the person scatter. It even affected Omone among his siblings. Things they are not the way they're supposed to be. Oh, when I want near one, oh, I begged my junior brother, we are only two. I begged him, I bought things here during the crossover to take to him in Mozambique. The day the person got there to give it to him, he was taking his bed and slumped and died. I am, I, th I won't say I'm finished. I don't know where I am. My, my, the only brother I have that I have suffered is a big boy in Mozambique. Madonna, bow no bunny. See, oh, Babu, one nanny. Now, chain, Babu, all that's are your connection. I drop this oil, Madam Judetinaka. Let there be freedom upon two of you. You will not die, Amen. and you will be restored. Amen. So shall it be, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Madam Franken, I see connection coming. Watch his face. Watch his face. You will not die like your brother. Amen. The matter is settled. Amen. As you saw, a week before that, my dad's brother died, his only brother. There were nine in the family, now it's only remaining two. And because of everything that had happened, I hadn't, since I graduated last year, I haven't attended school. So finally, after the prophecy, my dad's restoration finally came September. It came as news to us. His boss suddenly called him and told him that the documents that I've been looking for for his promotion since, they finally found it. Then um, five people that he was owing over five million naira since he collected, borrowed it from there, told him that don't worry, he should leave it, that forgotten about himself. It doesn't matter again. And guess what? Zion, mm -hmm. I have finally started school. And not only that, it's not a school in Nigeria, it's a school in Canada. God bless you. And your dad, restoration came after the prophecy. God bless you. God will do something that will make you to continue to laugh. Amen. Woman, pray you are sick. You are sick. Huh? Yeah, yeah. May you not die in the name of Jesus. Malibrakata Bosha.